Jack and Sara explore the library. It was a rainy afternoon, and Jack and Sara were looking for something fun to do indoors. As they passed the local library, Sara had a great idea. Let's explore the library. We can learn new things and stay dry at the same time. Jack agreed, and together they stepped inside the cozy library, greeted by the smell of books and whispers. Inside, Jack and Sara were amazed by how many shelves of books surrounded them. How are we going to find what we're looking for? Jack asked. Just then, a friendly librarian named Mrs. Green approached. You can use the catalogue to help you find books, she said with a smile. She showed them how to use the library's computer catalogue. Type in a topic or title, and it will show you where the book is located. Sara typed in adventure stories, and the catalogue showed her where to find a shelf full of exciting books. Jack typed in dinosaurs, and found his section too. As they explored the shelves, Mrs. Green explained that books are organised by genres or types of stories. She pointed out sections like fiction, where adventure and mystery stories live, and non-fiction, where Jack could learn all about real-life dinosaurs. Mrs. Green also showed them the fantasy section, which was full of magical tales, and the science fiction section, which had stories about space and futuristic worlds. Jack and Sarah were fascinated by how many different kinds of books they could read. Just as they were exploring, a bell rang, and Mrs. Green announced, it's time for our afternoon storytime session. Jack and Sarah hurried over to the reading area, where children were sitting on colorful cushions. They listened closely as Mrs. Green read a fun, magical story about a knight who saved a dragon. Jack and Sara laughed and listened, completely caught up in the story. After story time, it was time for Jack and Sara to check out their books to take home. Mrs. Green showed them how to use their library cards to borrow books. Jack chose a big book about dinosaurs, and Sara picked out an adventure story about a brave explorer. These are going to be so fun to read, they said, excited to dive into their new stories. As Jack and Sara left the library with their books in hand, the rain had stopped, and a rainbow appeared in the sky. They smiled, knowing they had learnt something new and found exciting stories to take home. I can't wait to come back, Jack said. Sara nodded in agreement, me too. There's so much more to explore. As they waved goodbye, they couldn't wait to see what adventure tomorrow would bring.